Howdy, welcome to Beaver Mountain Works. This episode is a tribute to all my fallen veteran brothers and sisters, and uh, this is Remembrance Day on 11th of November. And uh, this is kind of behind the scenes. This is how we start the morning. We got up and uh, doing some stuff. And my beautiful wife started the homemade hot spicy chili. It's gonna go on the campfire, you'll see that later on that we do every 11th. It's open to anybody and everyone to come by and sit and enjoy themselves and see a little bit more of the festivities. Um, you can see there's a time, it's probably see that in the distance, it's uh, 10.04 and we're about ready to finish our green smoothie that my beautiful wife makes me every morning, helps me out. And with all good nutritions, all organic from our garden and from other people's gardens. And uh, from here we're gonna go out and grab the horses and saddle up and you'll catch us because we're going to continue filming this entire day. Way down to saddle up. Veterans Day. We've been riding for what about three and a half kilometers, four kilometers now, four clicks, and uh, we're about halfway through the ride, pretty much. Probably a eh, easy another five kilometers to go, and uh, we're having a whole lot of fun. So as you can see here, I have a my handkerchief here from POW and MIA. We honor our prisoners of war and missing in action from all wars and uh, we're just gonna keep heading on today and having a lot of fun and a lot of therapy with horses. This is my big boy Washi. He's a Pinto Persian cross. He's about 21 years old. And he gives me a lot of loving and a bit of attitude too. Great ride. It was uh, about 8.7 clicks. It was well worth it. Definitely gonna feel it because my injury from the service is gonna take a toll on you. Unless you're trying to ride. But it's worth it today because this is Veterans Day and it's for all my comrades that we lost. Oh, look at that. He's rolling. And she's rolling. Oh, I got a whole horse. They do a full roll, then you got a whole horse. Only do a half a roll like Luna, you got a half a horse. <laughs> so, we've done our horseback ride. Got everything set up for the fire here. We have folks showing up. We have one fella showed up here, an Italian fella. <laughs> Bottle of Glen Levitt, signature blend, reserve. Our chair is given for our POW MIA friends. Salute to all the veterans of the world of freedom. All my fallen comrades, all the POWs, all the MIAs, the men and women, my brothers and sisters. First drink is for you. Well, here we are later in the evening. Folks have come, folks have gone. Most folks don't want to be videoed, but that's okay. We're wrapping up the night here pretty soon. Still got a bit of a fire, as you can see over there. <clears throat> Go over and give another salute to our fallen comrades and my fellow brothers and sisters. A little salute into the fire for them. Ooh, is that hot when that goes in? Sure likes that scotch. Real good. I want to thank you guys for coming and 
sharing this day with us and I hope it uh, kind of gave you a little bit of the behind the scenes of this one veteran here that uh, believes in freedom and liberty and justice for all and believes in his oath that he took to the Constitution and being a lifetime oath keeper. Hope other veterans will take the time to check out Oath Keepers and check us out at www.beavermountworks.com. You dream it, we make it. Take care now.